Hey, welcome back to the, the YouTube channel. Um, lots and lots of you have wrote in and asked for me to explain lead and calculations that I did on an army video. So it is very, very complex to read, very easy to, to do once you understand it. So I'm going to go over it now. I've put it all on one piece of paper. Normally with a student, I would go over it in segments, but this is going to make it very easy for you to screenshot and go over. So you might have to watch this video two or three times to, to keep up. I'm going to go over it as slowly as I can. Um, will the lead and maths that I'm going to get, give to you now be perfect all the time? No, of course not. But what you're going to be is very, very close. If your bird wants four feet and you give it one foot on your first go, you go one miss, two miss, three miss, four, you hit it on the last and you're done. What this system that I'm going to apply to you now will do is get you close. You'll probably be within one change to, to make to make a break as long as you start to practice your speed and distances. So there's lots of things we're going to go over. It's good fun. Um, so here's the. If we can screenshot this, and I'll go over it all with you. Okay. So what we need is a base bird. We need a bird that we know everything about so that we can. Um, Use that as our go-to target to start working and understanding how things are going to progress out from there. It's the only time I use a skeet field. I don't go onto a skeet field to practice sporting. There's absolutely no reason to. It makes no sense. So, this diagram here. This is peg four on a skeet field. This is the high house coming across. Some very important information on here. Here I have a sliding scale of speed. Zero being a bird stopped, no longer moving. Five is the fastest bird they can throw, like an Olympic trench type target. So what I do with this skeet bird here, I slide the speed in at 2.5. That's roughly how fast I think that bird is on the sliding scale. So that's one number we need to remember is 2.5. The angle from the shooter to the target is 90 degrees. Again, that's going to be very important. That's the second number we need. Two other digits that are going to be very important. From station four to the break zone, as long as you break it directly in front of you, is 21 yards. That's known. It's known worldwide, so we, we don't have to guess. Another distance that's going to become very important to you later on. From the um, high house here to the low house here is 40 yards. Remember those distances, they're going to become very, very important, okay? They're going to become very important to us later on. So, on the high house bird from station four, for me it's a speed 2.5. I know it's 21 yards away. I know it's 90 degrees. My lead on this bird is 18 inches. That's very important to know. So, that's going to be my DSAL. Everything I refer to in my lessons is DSAL. Distance, speed, angle, lead. That's how we're going to start working lead out. So, my numbers of my base bird. D-S-A-L. The distance we know of my base bird is 21 yards. We know the distance of my base bird is 21 yards. We know it's a speed 2.5. We know the angle is 90 degrees. And I know my lead is 18 inches. Okay? That gives me everything that I need to know. So, as I run you through some of the scenarios, these are what you can work on at home and try and get to grips with. So, D-S-A-L. Distance, speed, angle, lead. Okay. There's my base bird, we've got the numbers. So here's the next scenario. It's now 42 yards away. I've gauged that from the target by remembering this skeet number. If, if you look at it and it's further than this, it's over 40. If you look at it and you know it's under a skeet distance, we know it's under 40, so we start to get good at measuring distances. You can do this while you're driving. So now, this next bird is 42 yards away. It's a speed 2.5. It's 90 degrees. So I look at mine. 90 degrees is the same. Speed's the same. It's double the distance. Dead simple. I double the space. 36 inches of lead. I pretty much guarantee you that will break that bird. If not, you're going to be very, very, very close. Next scenario. 21 yards away. 
It's a speed five. It's 90 degrees. So distance is the same as my base, base bird. I do nothing. The speed is double my base bird. I double it. The, the um, angle is the same. So 18 times the two for the speed gives me 36 inches. So I'm back at 36. That's going to give me the lead for that bird. I guarantee it. Next one. The distance is 21 yards to the break zone. It's a speed 2.5. They're both the same as my base bird. It's only a 45 degree angle. So I half my lead and I'm at nine inches. That's the lead that will break that bird if I was stood just here. The only time I change all of this is if the angle is under 20 degrees. I don't care about the speed. I'm simply going to give it no lead. It's that simple. There's a great screenshot for you. You can go over all of that in your head, writing different scenarios. I've kept my sums there quite simple so you can understand what I'm doing. But if you went um, 21 degrees became 42, my 18 becomes 36. If the speed goes up a bit, I'll add half a foot or a foot depending on what the speed changes. If the angle goes down, I take that back off. So you're just doing general mass, adding and subtracting, but always in the order I've written it. D-S-A-L, distance, speed, angle, lead. That will put you far, far closer than you are now. It stops you guessing and you're starting to get very, very precise with your lead pictures. Um, I think I've covered everything I need to on there. It can be quite confusing. Any questions, put them below. I'll try and respond to every question on this because it is quite confusing for you people that are looking at it for the first time, but especially those that say they struggle with lead. This will put you in the ballpark straight away. D-S-A-L, distance, speed, angle, lead. Go to peg four of a skeet field, shoot the high bird directly over the middle peg. You know it's 21 yards. You know it's a speed 2.5. You know it's a 90 degree angle, just get your own lead picture. It'll probably be somewhere from a foot to two and a half feet, depending on how you see lead. You've now got your base bird. Put those numbers next to DSAL, then do some basic maths and you'll start to do it quickly and you'll start to get the leads a lot sharper in your head the moment you come to the station. If you decide that the degree to the target is under 20 degrees, shoot straight at it anyway. All right, take care, stay safe.